Bristol basketball fans. And we welcome you again to the auxiliary gymnasium here at Hicksville Schools, the Red Zone Junior, as we are getting ready for more junior high boys basketball action on this Tuesday. Jim Seiler alongside. We uh, finished up the seventh grade game not too long ago. It went the way of the pilots. And now the eighth graders are getting ready to take the floor. Glad to have you here with us on Hicksville Community Television. I am Bill Murphy. Jim Seiler with me to call the play-by-play. -play. Chris Warner running the camera. And our coverage underwritten by the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships here in Hicksville, Ohio, and Hicksville's Community Memorial Hospital. And Jim, I, I, I know that uh, you know we, the seventh graders, uh, those games are always kind of hard to predict. Uh, the eighth oh, graders, yeah. though, uh, generally the, uh, the, the level of play steps up a little bit uh, between the seventh and eighth grade, even at the junior high level. And this is, a, again, kind of a neat way to sort of uh, put your eyeballs on some of the kids that we're going to be uh, talking about over the next few years right. when we move up to the high school coverage. Right. And uh, I know that uh, Brody Balzer is uh, a good prospect. Yep. And also... Klima uh, has a history. Mm -hmm. does, uh, and Alex Gordon, I think, has grown six inches. <laughs> yeah. So, so we're glad yeah. to have you with us. We'll call in, we'll fill in the players' names and numbers as we go along. Six minutes on the clock and ready to jump center circle. Oh, quick Layersville McGuire scores two. Number 23 for the Pilots is McGuire. Balzer's number 13 for the Aces, and he hands off to number one. Oh. That's Maverick uh, Keysbury. Gordon got the rebound and was fouled. Yep. Also on the floor for the Aces, number 20 is Aaron Klima, number 34, as we mentioned, Alex Gordon, and number 30 is Justin West. We'll try to get you the pilots here shortly. West tries to feed it off, and it winds up in the hands of number 35. That's Schlachter. Number 23 for the Pilots is McGuire. Wow. 14 with a tray. And that's Brown. Also on the floor, number four, that's Hashtet. And number 30 is Hauenstein. High off the glass, no good. Schlachter. Wasn't Schlachter, that was Hauenstein. And that one goes down for Hostet. And so Harrisville jumps out seven to nothing. A couple nice shots from the outside. They got some size on the floor. Mm -hmm. Coach Klausen calling the early timeout. For the Aces. I would imagine if you matched up both teams size wise, it'd probably be pretty darn even. Like I said, they yeah, I, I think it, just eyeballing it that Schlachter and Gordon about are size. about about equal. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, McGuire down here, he's a pretty good sized kid at 23. Balzer feeds it off to Klima. Nice move. Yeah. Remember, Klima's brother played three or four years ago. Mm -hmm. He was a real aggressive ball player. And he's, got a, he's got a sister that plays right. varsity ball. Yep. So, Samantha Klima. Yep. That's a... Gordon picked up a foul, I believe. Pilot's ball out of bounds on the baseline. Yeah. 
Bumper, no good. Put back. No, no good. good. Gordon clears it. And here comes Balzer. Too much on it. Gordon rebound. Barry, back to Balzer. Oh. It's a nice looking shot, just a little too long. Oh, nice pass. And that'll be a foul. Schlachter is fouled. And I think they might have got Gordon for that one. Team foul number two on the aces. Now, Gordon's uh, got an even number, so it was a zero. Okay. I think it was might have been Klima. Klima? Well, it's either got to be him or Justin West, yeah. so. Mm. Schlachter misses. J.R. Mendoza in as Gordon will have a seat for Hicksville. Second one in the Schlachter is good. Have nine to nothing. Eastbury. No, three for Klima. Makes it eight to three, cuts the lead to five. Inside it went. Mm. The little guy comes up. Oh, right and there he goes. Hostet, four points now. Makes it 10 to three. Puts the lead back at seven. Aces want to keep that differential in single digits if they can. Right. Balls her. Oh. Nothing falling today. Schlachter. Mm. He's very traveled. with the ball. Nice drives drive. from the inside. Gets his own board. Schlachter got the bucket. And he'll go to the line. Get the feeling we might be calling Schlachter's name in a couple of years. Yeah. He just we're had over a brother. In the big, we're over in the big gym. He just had a brother who graduated. Probably a brother. Maybe he is. Maybe a cousin, mm -hmm. but bang, same name. Six points now for Schlachter. Yeah, that Schlachter was six seven. And yeah, we don't have heights for any of the players, so he's six two or six three right now. Because I know Gordon is. Mm -hmm. He's gonna go to the hoop again, and he's gonna connect again. That makes it 17 to three and timeout on the floor as the Aces look for some way to stop the bleeding. Minute 15 to go here in our opening quarter. Again, it's eighth grade boys basketball coming to you from the auxiliary gym here at Hicksville Schools. Jim Seiler and Bill Murphy, glad to have you with us. I hope you're enjoying our Aces junior high basketball coverage. I know our cameraman, Chris Warner is. 
A lot of his classmates out there tonight. <coughs> Rooting them on. While he's emptying out the change in my pockets to keep running over to the vending machines. <laughs> oh. We only tease Chris like that because we like him so much. Yeah. Brody Balzer. Klima. Hmm. Oh. Gordon saves the loose ball. Mm. And that's be scooped nice. up by West. Heads up play. Nice hustle. Well, it's going to be off of blue. It was a nice pass to Gordon. He couldn't quite get it under control. And the Ayersville player got his hand in there and sort of stripped the ball out and knocked it out of bounds. There you are. Maverick. Oh. Loose on the floor again, controlled by the Pilots. McGuire with the ball. Has to the shot, he missed. Rebound. He's very, but very. He threw it to the back of. Picked up by Brown. And there's a whistle. And it'll be Pilots ball out of bounds. 14 the, fouls on the Aces here, 23.8 seconds. For the Browns in the area, uh, the Brown on the Ayersville floor is, uh, his father's a graduate of Hicksville. Mm -hmm. Hostet to 16, back to Brown. They'll hold for the last shot if they can. Now, well, loose on the floor and, nope. Oh. Possession goes to, to the bill. So Aces will get the ball back with nine seconds. They're not going to be able to waste a lot of time. They need to shoot. Yes. Oh. Klima slaps his hands and says, darn it. So that's the end of the first quarter, and after one, it's a 14-point lead, 17-3, to three, as Jim said. So we want to say a big thank you to our basketball broadcast underwriters making our coverage possible. The Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio. Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick, Jim Schmidt Ford, and the Jim Schmidt Truck Lot. Remember, if you're looking for a vehicle, new, pre-owned car, truck, van, SUV, stop by, check out the great selection they have on the lots. Or you can check out the entire dealer inventory online. Find out everything else you need to know about the family of auto dealerships from Jim Schmidt as well at jimschmidtauto.com and Community Memorial Hospital of Hicksville. Proudly serving the Hicksville area's healthcare needs for over 65 years. And you can find out about the many specialties and physicians who are available to help you out at Community Memorial Hospital as well as the many classes and programs they have to help you live a healthier lifestyle. Check them out online at www.cmhosp.com. I want to thank them both for their continued support of our Aces Sports broadcast, the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships, and Community Memorial Hospital, both of them right here in Hicksville, Ohio. Face down by Klima. Gets it over, that's and that's a good by Allenstein. Allenstein gets a nice touch. Balzer, who's usually up. Oh. Aces just seeming a little out of sync here tonight. Yeah, you can tell. They're just not very smooth. Yeah, like I said, normally you can. You can count on a better scoring output from both Balzer and Klima. West, ooh, put back and Gordon's fouled. 
Schlachter, Hack Tim. Alex Gordon with a couple of free throws coming. 5.09 to go in the first half. Oh. Oh. Bradley Crowell will come out and he's very back in. No, we missed mm. them both. Rolled that one along the rim. McGuire, McGuire all the way. Four points for McGuire. 21 to three. I would have never guessed that that would have been the score. Yeah, you know, I thought this would have been a closer game. Ooh. Gordon trying to get the ball and he wound up kind of dribbling it off the face of <laughs> He, he didn't mean to do that, but yes, it happens sometimes. So that'll be another foul. It's five now on the Aces as a team. West gets his hand in there. It's a turnover. Klima comes up with the ball. And we're going to have a push off. 30. So that'll be Hounstein. Team foul number three. And they'll let Gordon get a breather and bring Mendoza back in for the Aces. And number 30, Houndstein goes, Houndstein goes, sits down, and number 44, Martin comes in. Alter, there we go. Yeah. Brody manages to crack the cylinder. Where with the inbounds? West comes out to meet him at half court. Gee, Wow, what he a goes. move. He's it, not shy about taking it to the hoop, no. is he, Jim? He, he went into another gear there. Fouled in the act of shooting, so Schlachter back at the line. That occurred after the run to the hoop from McGuire. Yes. Schlachter was trying to get the board, and he got fouled. That one will be a little bit wide to the right. Coach will be working on him before he gets to varsity level. Yep. And Bradley Crowell back into the game. He'll be shooting free throws for the Aces. This is in both. Mendoza smacks the ball out of there. And Balzer gets it before it goes out of bounds. There you go. Brody right. Balzer seems to be getting the range. Makes it 21 to seven. Crawl to Balzer. Too much time in the paint there. And yeah, he was starting a campfire. Yep. So the Pilots will get the ball back. 3.22 to go here in our first half. Nice Up and good. Enough. McGuire again. Alter couldn't get the shot to go down, but he draws the foul. Yeah, 
He's a pretty decent athlete. Mm -hmm. well, you can tell he's kind of upset that he's missing some of these easier shots tonight. Klima will check back in and Crawl will check out. Balzer gets the second one, five points for Brody. to McGuire. Oh, he traveled. McGuire taking the step. Yep. Short Mendoza grabs the board. Back to Balzer, out of bounds. Last touch by the Pilots. Ace's ball, 226 left in the half. Wire's got some good ball handling skills. Yes, he on does. Top of his aggressive move to the hoop. And that'll be team foul number seven on the aces. So this could be one and one. He went down to inbound it on the baseline, but nope, he's going to shoot free throws. So Schlachter at the line to shoot one and one. 2.06 to go in the half. Misses the front end. And West comes up with the ball for the Aces. Balls are a little short. Off pass, no good on that end. One fifty-two to go in the half. 23 to eight, Ayersville leading. Pilots with the ball. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> they're getting a little bit upset with themselves. A little bit of frustration. They're missing the easy shots and it's driving them nuts. Oh. Up and good for Hollenstein. Mm. Mm. Got to watch that. Had the tent pitch that time. Yep. Close again on a minute left in the half. Schlachter, he's going to get hacked, and he'll go to the line and shoot too. 59.5 seconds, and the Pilots find themselves back at the free throw line again. They're leading 25 to 8. Here's who's only committed four team fouls, so the Aces not going to go into the bonus here, most likely before the half ends. Schlachter clanks it off the front of the iron. Ooh, he got one. Yeah. Mm. 
move. Martin back into the game. Blocked out pilots. of bounds. Castillo coming in, number 45. Take that to the bucket. Yep. <clears throat> All comes loose, out of bounds. 25 seconds, here comes the aces. Balzer, 20 seconds as he crosses the half court. This is gonna hold to the last shot, perhaps. <laughs> and out of bounds to the pilots. With 10.4. He's gonna turn it on. To Brown. Oh my. Another tray for Brown. Gives him six points. And the buzzer sounds, and we've reached the intermission. So after the first 12 minutes at halftime, our score is the Pilots leading the homestanding aces in the eighth grade game 29 to 8. We're going to take a break. We invite you to stay tuned. Jim and I will be back. We'll have the second half action for you right here on Hits TV. Well, welcome back. We are at halftime of the eighth grade game between the Pilots and the Aces. And if you're just joining us, 21 point lead for the blue and the yellow as uh, the Pilots lead 29 to eight. And uh, well, Jim, how does the unofficial scoring for the first half look? Well, it's, it uh, looks pretty bad for the Aces. I know well, that. Yeah, <laughs> I'll, I'll save it. Uh, number four, Hasted for Ayersville had four points. Brown had six from two threes. Uh, 23 McGuire had six points on three twos. 30 Hollenstein had four points. Uh, Schlachter had six, seven, eight, nine points. And three field goals and three free throws for their total of 29. Martin. Four. And Castillo, the only two pilots that didn't score in the yeah. first half. So the uh, Hicksville totals come up with eight, and that's Klima hit a three, and Balser had a pair of deuces and a free throw for five. So that comes up to the total of eight. Yep. And the aces, I guess we should say too, I mean, it, it, the score is really lopsided, but the aces had lots of opportunities, and they had lots of good shots that uh, normally they would not miss. Uh, they had uh, balls going in and out uh, and just just missing some of these shots. So this could very easily be a much closer game. I, I think we still have to give the edge to the uh, to the pilots because again, uh, uh, number 23 McGuire, what a talented athlete that young yes. man is. He's got some great basketball moves and he goes strong to the hoop and he really handles the ball well. And then he's got Schlachter and Howenstein yeah. with him. Jim. And Schlachter's got size, and he also knows how to use the size to his advantage. Right. Nice. nice pick. Gordon knocks it away. Gordon had to sit out a bit in the first half near the end with some fouls. Nice move. Klima. There it. we go. 
Five points for Klima. Brown with the ball. Gives it to Hostead. Inside, Schlachter back out to Brown for three. It's no good. Rebound. Number In and out. No. Howenstein, and it's missed, and there's a shrum on the floor, and. It wound up in West's lap, and he just wrapped himself around the ball. So, Hicksville ball out of bounds. He's very looking for some help. It's the Klima. Mm. Go, Keysbury. Ooh. Mm. Wire winds up with the ball on the wing. And move to the top of the key, get things set. Rebound number 30, Hounstein. Six points for him. Well, a wave it off foul on Brown. That'll be team foul number one on the pilots here. Way to go, Brody. There we go. He'll go to the line. That was a nice play. Got the and one coming. Hmm. And he missed it. And leave the score at 31 to 12. Brown with the rebound. Schlachter in the corner. Into the lane. It's out. Owenstein misses the shot. Credit Maverick Keysbury. He's about half the size of Schlachter, but he went after him to get that rebound. Yep. He plays hard. He plays. He plays mm. like he's six foot. Because he takes the ball inside pretty darn well. But he's got to get somebody to compliment him on that. So that he can give it up. Yep. He's very slapping at it and he gets the rest. He's very foul, fouls Hostet. He comes up a little gimpy, too, so he's going to limp off. And sit down, and they'll take a look at the right ankle. And McGuire will handle the inbounds chores for the Pilots. Hostet with the ball. McGuire to Schlachter. Got his own rebound and up and in. Oh. He'll go to the line, it looks like. Puts Schlachter into double figures.
In and out with the free throw. His forte is not shooting free throws. Nope. Stolen away. Hollenstein. And there goes McGuire. Eight points for McGuire. Balzer puts it up. No good. McGuire grabs the board. There we go. West gets to this assist from Balzer and 35 14 now. Timeout from the pilots. 30 second, yep, from mm -hmm. the pilots. And it must have seen something he wasn't happy with. He wanted to be, wanted to have it addressed. <sighs> so both teams will huddle up. Pilots ball out of bounds, midcourt on the side. Wow, nice pass. Mm. Didn't get a good free nope. shot. It was a nice pass. And Schlocker tried to do the little pump fake, and yeah. he got the uh, defender to jump, but then he wasn't able to get up and Put the ball onto the basket. So. There you are. Nope. No hands. Klima the other way. Feeds West. And West tried to get it to Gordon and deflected out of bounds or slapped out of bounds by one of the pilots. Another whistle. Was out of bounds. Stepped on the end line, yep. 53 seconds to go here in quarter number three. Yeah, we have Martin coming back into the game. And Prowl is back out there for the Aces. Down low, bounce pass. Schlachter. And Schlachter finishes it off. Assist from Martin. Balzer still can't quite get the bounce. Gordon, Gordon. with the put back. No. Oh. McGuire being dogged by West. West knocks the ball loose. Wow. Klima. Klima is clean. There we go. Seven for Klima. West just needs to work on his layup there. People wind up hitting the deck. That hurts. You take a knee in the thigh. They'll bring Mendoza in. Nope, I take that back. They're going to bring in Bell. Zach Bell, number 14. Three quarters, 37 16. Ayersville leading. So we'll get ready for the fourth and final quarter here from the auxiliary gym tonight. 
And again, we want to say a big thank you to our basketball broadcast underwriters who make our coverage possible here on Hicks TV. Community Memorial Hospital of Hicksville. They've been serving the health care needs of the area for over 65 years. They look forward to being of service to you and your family. Want to learn more about how to live a healthier lifestyle? They've got great classes and, of course, to find out about all of the services and specialties available at the Community Memorial Hospital online, check out their website at www.cmhosp.com. We also want to say a huge thank you to the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio, Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick and Jim Schmidt Ford. Remember, it's all about service before, during, and after the sale at the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships. They'll always do their level best to make sure that not only do you get the exact vehicle that you're looking for, but you are completely satisfied with your experience from start to finish at the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships. Find out more online at jimschmidtauto.com or stop by the dealerships, Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick or Jim Schmidt Ford here in Hicksville, Ohio. We want to thank both Community Memorial and Jim Schmidt for their continued support of our Aces Athletic broadcasts here on Hicks TV. Down by 21. Aces have a long, hard road to hoe here if they want to get back. Hosted off the glass. Oh, Good. nice bounce. Six points for him. West, and he'll go to the line. Hosted with the foul. It's team foul number three on the Pilots. Aces have got four so far in the second half. West, oh. It bounces around everywhere and does everything except go through the hoop. He'll get one more. Oh, he stepped in. And, and it's uh, good. They're going to give him that one? Yep. Three points for West. Pilots with the ball back. Brown. Hostad drives in off glass. No good this time. And we're going to have jump ball. Well, that made things quiet. Mm -hmm. The Aces ball. Brown has to Possession stop. goes to Hicksville. Brown has to stop, tie his shoe. Back in action. Klima, spin move. That's pretty good for him. He's got that move fat, pat. Nine points for Klima. Ooh. Oh. Schlachter over the rim. Schlachter to rebound. Tipped out of there. Ball up and oh. no good. They should survive that. Out of bounds and He's very back into the game. We talk about dodging the bullets, the aces on that no last kidding. offensive series from the pilots. They had some good shots and just could not, not get it to go four, down. Four of them that wouldn't go. There goes Keysbury, and he misses a short runner. Balser to Mendoza. Hmm. No good, but Balser got it. Yep. Nine, Nine for him. 39-21 yep. now. Well, 41 <laughs> to 21. Hashtag eight points. Oh, Kingsbury is going to get waylaid. They banged his head. That was a cranium to cranium. Contact between Keysbury 
and McGuire. And Maverick Keysbury on the floor. McGuire coming over to make sure he's okay. So we'll pause here while they're looking after the injured player, and we'll be back when play resumes here on XTV. So Maverick Keysbury is going to get walked off the floor, and a couple of our local EMTs, I think there's one from Ayersville and one from Hicksville, were both in the crowd. So they were attending to him. He really got his bell rung. He took yes. quite, the, quite the shot. Uh, he bumped heads with the pilot player, and then he went down hard and hit his head on the, on the hardwood floor. So they'll take him back to the locker room, and we'll get ourselves resituated and ready to resume action. We've got 3.57 left here in this eighth grade game. We're in the fourth quarter, and uh, pilots are leading 41-21. Both teams, four team fouls, and a little more quiet and subdued here since uh, Keysbury went down. And we'll hope that he'll be okay. He's got got two two pretty good guys looking after him, especially Mr. Silcott from our local EMS department here in Hicksville. So having some discussions with the athletic director and the officials, and we're going to get ready to resume things. It'll be Aces ball at midcourt. Aces inbounds to balls and we're back underway. Travel. Gonna be a travel. Cross the line and then uh, circle he, around back he, behind it. Yeah, he only had one foot across. Yep. That's not over and back. You got to have the ball and both feet across before it's over and back when you go back that way. Cleveland's going to have a shot that will be an air ball. Out of bounds to the pilots, 331 left. advantage and gets the bucket. And that'll be a foul. Balser got hit taking the three pointer so he will shoot He'll three. Shoot three. Brody has not had the best of nights at the free throw line so this would be a good time to get hot.
Ooh. There you go. Bring Gordon back in, and Crawl will sit down. Three. McGuire takes it coast to coast, feeds it off. Lockner misses, and Klima grabs the board. Klima is shot from outside, no good. Mendoza, nope. no good. Howenstein, the rebound. All Down alone. floor, mm. Brown bucket. Eight points for Brown. Gordon, oh. Clock here. Looks like the pilots are going to let the air out a little bit. Looks that way. 152. Nice pass. Oh. Schlachter missed the easy bunny. Calls her. And we're going to have a travel called. On the rebound. I think they're going to say that Gordon grabbed the ball and then walked with it. Yes. Got Castillo and Martin into the game now for the Pilots. He's out. Travel. Stood up. One twenty-three and the clock rolling. Brody Balzer to Bell. Bell inside to Mendoza. Mendoza loses the handle, gets it before it goes out of bounds. He'll pull the trigger from three off the top of the board. Rebound. Balzer. Balzer. Fifty-nine. Martin. And he traveled again. So with forty-eight point two seconds. Aces get a chance to maybe close the gap a little further. Down by nineteen. Whew. Bell, going short. And out of bounds to the pilots with <clears throat> 32 seconds. Castillo, and he took a little hop. Yeah, he did. He wanted that shot. Yep. <laughs> well, he's smiling about it. Yeah. That's <laughs> all you can do, yep. man. Sometimes you just get caught up in the moment. And... Yep. Mendoza feeds it inside, gets it right back. Six seconds. Better get a shot. That'll go out of bounds to the Pilots with 3.3 seconds left. Oh, excuse me, we'll stay with the Aces.
Mendoza quickly to Balzer. He needs to shoot. He didn't look at the clock, and the time expires. And the Pilots win the eighth grade matchup, 45 to 26. And we'll quickly do some addition here. Get you some unofficial wow. scores. <laughs> and for the Aces, Jim, I have actually, I have Brody Balls are leading all scorers tonight. Yeah. With uh, five in the first half, and then he added nine in the uh, second half to finish with 14. Uh, he's the lone ace in double figures. Aaron Klima. Had nine. He had a three-pointer in the first half and then three buckets for six more in the second half. The total nine and then uh, three points from Justin West in the second half for Eight. three. And that, uh, that gives you 26. On the pilot side, two in double figures. Uh, Schlachter finishing. I have him just behind <laughs> Balzer with uh, 13 points total. And then I've got Hostet with 10, Brown and McGuire with eight each, and six for Hollenstein. Okay. And uh, Ayersville was three of 13 from the free throw line. Yeah. And, <laughs> and really, uh, again, two pretty decisive wins by Ayersville in both these seventh and eighth grade games. And I think that really it's, uh, they need to work on their ball handling. And uh, also, I guess, uh, practice some of the close range shots. Uh, a lot of easy shot layups and close, close range shots missed. So still some work to do for the aces. And of course, uh, we'll see if we sort of, we try to fit in as many of the uh, junior high games as we can. So I'm not sure Chris and I may be back here on Thursday for uh, girls. <coughs> Junior high basketball, that's still a little bit tentative. And uh, Jim and I will for sure be back with you on Friday as uh, the uh, ladies will be hosting Holgate in GMC action. And then the uh, boys freshman JV and varsity are back on the red zone on Saturday for action against Hilltop. So anyway, with that, we're going to wrap it up again. We want to say thanks to the uh, Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships and to Community Memorial Hospital for underwriting our coverage here tonight. And uh, with that one final time, final score tonight in the eighth grade game, it's the Pilots beating the homestanding Aces 45-26. to For Jim Seiler, calling the play-by-play. -play. And for Chris Warner, behind the camera, I'm Bill Murphy with Hicksville Community Television wishing you good night and good sports.